a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Joan Jett Joan Jett is an American rock singer, songwriter, composer, musician, record producer and occasional actress. Jett is best known for her work as the frontwoman of her band, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and for earlier founding and performing with The Runaways, which recorded and released the hit song, Cherry Bomb. The Black Hearts version of the song, I Love Rock and Roll, was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks in 1982. Jet's other notable hit songs include, Bad Reputation, Crimson and Clover, Do You Wanna Touch Me, Light of Day, I Hate Myself for Loving You, and, Dirty Deeds. Jet has a mezzo-soprano vocal range. She has three albums that have been certified platinum or gold, and has been a feminist icon throughout her career. She has been described as the queen of rock and roll and the godmother of punk. In 2015, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Early Life Joan Marie Larkin was born on September 22, 1958 to James Larkin and Dorothy Jett Larkin at Lankanau Hospital in Wynwood, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia. She is the eldest of three children. Her father sold insurance. Her mother was a secretary. Her family were Protestant and attended church, but were not particularly religious. In 1967, her family moved to Rockville, Maryland, where she attended Randolph Junior High and Wheaton High School. Jet got her first guitar at the age of 14. She took some guitar lessons, but soon quit, because the instructor kept trying to teach her folk songs. Her family then moved to West Covina, California, in Los Angeles County, providing Jet the opportunity to pursue her musical endeavors. Shortly after the move to Los Angeles, her parents divorced, and she changed her name to Joan Jet, taking her mother's maiden name as her professional and legal name. In Los Angeles, Jet's favorite night spot was Rodney Bingenheimer's English Disco, a venue that provided the glam rock style she loved. The Runaways Jet became a founding member of The Runaways, alongside drummer Sandy West. Jackie Fox, Lita Ford and Cherie Curry soon joined up to complete the band, creating the classic lineup. While Curry initially fronted the band, Jet shared some lead vocals, played rhythm guitar and wrote or co-wrote a lot of the band's material along with Ford, West, and Curry. The band recorded five albums with Live in Japan becoming one of the biggest selling imports in US and UK history. The band toured around the world and became an opening act for Cheap Trick, Ramones, Van Halen and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. They found success abroad, especially in Japan. While touring England with the Runaways in 1976, Jet first heard the song, I Love Rock and Roll, when she saw Arrows perform it on their weekly UK television series Arrows. In 2010, The Runaways, a movie about Jet's band, was released, starring Kristen Stewart as Jet and Dakota Fanning as Curry. While The Runaways were popular in Europe, Asia, Australia, Canada, and South America, they could not garner the same level of success in the US. After Curry left the band, the band released two more albums with Jet handling the lead vocals, Waiting for the Night and And Now, The Runaways, all together. They produced five albums from 1975 until they disbanded in the spring of 1979. Soon afterward, Jet produced the Germs only album. Solo Career In 1979, Jet was in England pursuing a solo career. She recorded three songs there with the Sex Pistols Paul Cook and Steve Jones, one of which was an early version of Arrows, I Love Rock and Roll. This version appears on the 1993 compilation album Flashback. Later that year, she returned to Los Angeles, where she began fulfilling an obligation of the Runaways to complete a film which was loosely based on the band's career entitled We're All Crazy Now. Three actresses stood in for the departed band members, including Rainbow Smith, who was also a rock drummer. While working on the project, Jet met songwriter and producer Kenny Laguna, who was hired by Toby Mammoth to help Jet with writing some tracks for the film. They became friends and decided to work together. Jet relocated to Long Beach, New York, 
where Laguna was based. The plug was pulled on the project halfway through shooting after Jet fell ill, but in 1984. After she became famous, producers looked for a way to use the footage from the incomplete film. Parts of the original footage of Jet were eventually used in another project, an underground film called Dubit EO, which was produced by Alan Sachs, but not commercially released. Jet and Laguna entered the Who's Rampart Studios with the latter at the helm, and Jet's self-titled solo debut was released by Iola Records in Europe on May 17, 1980. In the US, after the album was rejected by 23 major labels, Jet and Laguna released it independently on their new Blackheart Records label, which they started with Laguna's daughter's college savings. Laguna remembers, we couldn't think of anything else to do but print up records ourselves. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts With Laguna's assistance, Jett formed the Blackhearts. Laguna recounted, I told Joni to forget the band and support herself on the advance money. There was enough for her, but not for a band. She said she had to have a band. And I believe to this day that it was the Blackhearts, that concept, that made Joan Jett. She placed an ad in the LA Weekly stating that she was, looking for three good men. John Dervex sat in on bass for the auditions held at SIR Studios in Los Angeles. He mentioned a local bass player, Gary Ryan, who had recently been crashing on his couch. Ryan was born Gary Moss, and adopted his stage name upon joining the Blackhearts in 1979, in part to cover for the fact that he was only 15 at the time. Ryan was part of the Los Angeles punk scene and had played bass with local artists Top Jimmy and Rick Elric. He had been a fan of the Runaways and Jet for years. Jet recognized him at the audition and he was in. Ryan in turn recommended guitarist Eric Campbell, who was also at the time part of Rick Elric. The final addition to the original Blackhearts was drummer Danny Furious O'Brien, formerly of the San Francisco band The Avengers. This lineup played several gigs at the Golden Bear, in Huntington Beach, California, and the Whiskey A Go Go in Hollywood before embarking on their first European tour, which consisted of an extensive tour of the Netherlands and a few key shows in England, including the Marquee in London. Laguna fired O'Brien at the end of the tour, and upon returning to the States, Jet, Ryan, and Amble moved to Long Beach, New York. Auditions were set up and Lee Crystal, formerly of The Boyfriends and Sylvan Sylvan, became the new drummer. The band then toured throughout the US, slowly building a fan base, but struggling to remain financially afloat. Throughout 1980, the band was able to keep touring solely due to Laguna drawing on advances from outside projects. Jet and Laguna used their personal savings to press copies of the Joan Jet album and set up their own system of distribution, sometimes selling the albums out of the trunk of Laguna's Cadillac at the end of each concert. Laguna was unable to keep up with demand for the album. Eventually, old friend and founder of Casablanca Records, Neil Bogart, made a joint venture with Laguna and signed Jet to his new label, Boardwalk Records and re-released the Joan Jet album as Bad Reputation. A spring 1981 concert at the Palladium in New York City proved to be a turning point. Described by music journalists as a career-defining performance by Jet, it helped solidify a strong New York following for Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. After a year of touring and recording, the Blackhearts recorded a new album entitled I Love Rock and Roll for the label. Amble was replaced by local guitarist Ricky Bird during the recording. Bird recalled in an interview with Guitar Who, One day I went to a studio to jam around a bit with Jet and everything clicked. The first single from the album was a cover of the title track, I Love Rock and Roll, originally written and recorded by Arrows, which in the first half of 1982 was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks in a row. It is Billboard's number 56 song of all time and has also been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2016. Jet released album and glorious results of a misspent youth. A string of top 40 hits followed, as well as sell-out tours with The Police, Queen, and Aerosmith, among others. She was among the first English-speaking rock acts to appear in Panama and the Dominican Republic. After receiving her own MTV New Year's Eve special,
Jet beat out a number of contenders to appear in the movie Light of Day with Michael J. Fox. Bruce Springsteen wrote the song, Light of Day, especially for the movie, and her performance was critically acclaimed. It was about this time that Ryan and Crystal left the Blackhearts. They were soon replaced by Tommy Price and Kasim Sultan. Later that year, Jet released Good Music, which featured appearances by the Beach Boys, the Sugar Hill Gang and singer Darlene Love. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts became the first rock band to perform a series of shows at the Lunt Fontana Theatre on Broadway, breaking a record at the time for the fastest ticket sellout. Her next release, Up Your Alley, went multi-platinum. This album contains the single, I Hate Myself for Loving You, which Pete did number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, and had been used as the theme song for Sunday Night Football NFL games in America during the 2006 and 2007 seasons. This was followed by the hit list, which was an album consisting of cover songs. During this time, Jet co-wrote the song, House of Fire, which appeared on Alice Cooper's 1989 album Trash. In 1990, the band had a song on the Days of Thunder soundtrack, Long Live the Night, written by Jet with Randy Cantor and Michael Caruso. Her 1991 release Notorious, which featured the replacements Paul Westerberg and former Billy Idol bass player Phil Fate, was the last with Sony slash CBS as Jet switched to Warner Brothers a CD single of Let's Do It, featuring Jet and Westerberg was also released during this time, and appeared in the song credits for the movie Tank Girl. In 1993, Jet and Laguna released Flashback, a compilation of various songs on their own Blackheart records. Jet produced several bands prior to releasing her debut, and her label Blackheart Records released recordings from varied artists such as thrash metal band Metal Church and rapper Big Daddy Kane. The press touted Jet as the godmother of punk and the original Riot Girl. In 1994, the Blackhearts released the well-received Pure and Simple, which featured tracks written with babes in Toyland's Cat Bieland. L7S Donita Sparks and Bikini Kills Kathleen Hanna. Jet has also been described as the queen of rock and roll. Ongoing work Jet returned to producing for the band Circus Lupus in 1992 and again, in 1994, for Bikini Kill. This recording was the new Radio Plus 2 vinyl 7-inch EP for which she also played and sang backup vocals. The Riot Girl movement started in the 1990s, with Bikini Kill as a representative band, and many of these women credited Jet as a role model and inspiration. In 1997, Jet was featured on the We Will Fall, the Iggy Pop tribute album. She performed a cover of the Johnny O'Keefe song, Wild One. Jet worked with members of the punk rock band The Gits, whose lead singer and lyricist, Mia Zapata, had been raped and murdered in 1993. The results of their collaboration was a live album, Evil Stig and a single, Bob, whose earnings were contributed to the investigation of Zapata's murder. To this end, the band and Jet appeared on the television show America's Most Wanted, appealing to the public for information. The case was solved in 2004, when Zapata's murderer, Jesus Metzquia, was brought to trial and convicted. Jet is a guest artist on Marky Ramone and the Intruders' 1999 album The Answer to Your Problems. On the track, don't blame me. She is a guest vocalist on Peach's album Impeach My Bush on the tracks, Boys Wanna Be Her. And, you love it. At an October 2001 9 11 benefit in Red Bank, New Jersey, Jet and Springsteen appeared together on stage for the first time and played Light of Day. In 2004, Jet and Laguna produced the album No Apologies by the pop punk band The Eyeliners, after signing them. Jet also guested on the track. Destroy, and made a cameo appearance in its music video. In 2005, Jet and Laguna signed punk rock as The Vacancies and produced their second album, A Beat Missing or A Silence Added, and their third album in 2007, Tantrum. That same year, she was recruited by Stephen Van Zandt to host her own radio show on Van Zandt's underground garage radio channel on Sirius Satellite Radio. She hosted a four-hour show titled Joan Jett's Radio Revolution, broadcast every Saturday and Sunday. The program moved from Sirius 25 to Sirius 28 shortly before being cancelled in June 2008. 
In 2005, Jet and Laguna celebrated the 25th anniversary of Blackheart Records with a sellout show at Manhattan's Webster Hall. In June 2006, Jet released her album Sinner on Blackheart Records to support the album. The band appeared on the 2006 Warp Tour and on a full 2006 tour with Eagles of Death Metal. Various other bands such as Antigone Rising, Valiant Thor, The Vacancies, Throw Rag, and Riverboat Gamblers were to have joined the tour for a handful of dates each. Jet sang a duet with Chase Knowles on Tear Stained Letters, a song on the Heart Attack's 2006 album, Hellbound and Heartless. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts headlined the Albuquerque, New Mexico Freedom Fourth Celebration on July 4, 2007, with an estimated crowd of 65,000 in attendance at the annual outdoor event. In November 2007, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared with Motorhead and Alice Cooper in a UK arena tour. Jett opened eight American shows on Aerosmith's 2007 World Tour, following the Dave Clark Five's induction to The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. On March 10, 2008, Jet, as part of the ceremony, closed the program with a performance of the Dave Clark Five's 1964 hit, Bits and Pieces. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared on several dates of the True Colors tour in the summer of 2008. She opened for Def Leppard in August. On November 19, 2009, Mattel released a Joan Jett Barbie doll. Her name and likeness was used with her permission. In June 2010, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts opened for Green Day on their UK tour alongside acts such as Frank Turner and Paramore. The band was the opening act for Aerosmith's September 2010 Canadian tour. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were part of the lineup for the Falls Music and Arts Festival, December 29 through January 1, 2010, in Australia. Jett was an executive producer for the film The Runaways, which chronicled the Runaways' career. It was written and directed by Floria Sigismondi, who has directed videos for Marilyn Manson, The White Stripes, and David Bowie. Production of the movie began filming around Twilight's Kristen Stewart's filming schedule. Stewart played Jet in the film. In order to prepare for the role, Stewart met Jet around the 08-09 New Year. In an interview, Stewart revealed that she hoped to be able to sing some songs in the film. The film explores the friendship between Jet and Runaway's lead singer, Cherie Curry, played by Dakota Fanning, and premiered at the 2010 Sundance Film Festival on January 24, 2010. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts appeared at the 2010 Sundance Film Festival at Harrios for the Runaways promotion, which was also attended by Stewart and Dakota Fanning. March 2010 saw the release of a two-CD Greatest Hits album with four newly re-recorded songs. March 2010 also saw the release of a hardcover biography and picture book, spanning her career from the runaways to the present day. Jet, along with the Blackhearts, released the album Unvarnished on September 30, 2013. The album reached Billboard's Top 50. It included songs dealing with the death of her parents and other people. August 1st was declared Joan Jett Day in West Hollywood. She was named West Hollywood's rock legend. Former Blackhearts member Lee Crystal died on November 6, 2013, from complications of multiple sclerosis. Jett starred in and was the executive producer of the film Indatable John, which was released in 2014. In April 2014, Jett fronted the remaining members of Nirvana for a performance of Smells Like Teen Spirit for their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She joined the band again later that night for its surprise concert at St. Vitus. In April 2014, Jet was the first woman to win the Golden God Award. Former bandmates Cherie Curry and Lita Ford came and supported her. On April 24, 2014, Alternative Press magazine held its first ever Alternative Press Music Awards, and Jet received the AP Icon Award. On July 12, 2014, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts performed at Tropicana Field after the baseball game in St. Petersburg, Florida. On October 29, 2014, Jett sang the U.S. National Anthem at the New York Knicks vs. the Chicago Bulls basketball game. Jett and Hot Topic released Jett's first clothing line in 2014. It consists of jackets, shirts, pants, and a sweater. 
On April 15, 2015, Jet and the Blackhearts opened for The Who, kicking off their The Who Hits 50. 2015 North American Tour in Tampa, Florida The Blackhearts opened for The Who for 42 dates in the US and Canada, ending November 4 in Philadelphia. On July 4, 2015, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts were part of the Foo Fighters' 20th anniversary show at the RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. In September 2018, Jett signed a music distribution deal with Sony Music's Legacy Recordings, making her catalog officially available for streaming. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to